Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel Keep Learning. Today we are going to learn about the port security. How we can lock our port using the MAC address. You can get the practice file from the description. So objective of this video is to understand the port security in theoretical topic and then we will implement the port security in terms of experiment. This is a lab scenario. Here you can see that switch is connected with the manager admin server. Now manager and admin are the authenticated person who can access the server through the switch. Now the attacker is here who will try to access the server through the switch. So we need to protect our server from such kind of attacker. What we are going to do? We are going to secure our port. Port means the terminal where the user or admin are connected. So unauthorized person will not able to access the port which is useful for the server connectivity or the remote connection. Here we are going to secure our switch using the MAC address. The dedicated MAC address will be allowed to communicate on the port but the rest of the MAC address will not allow to communicate on the port. So restriction on interface. You can see here that particular interface is dedicated to a particular MAC address. The other MAC address that means other device not allowed to access to that port address. Here you can see that FA01 is connected with the host. So now this MAC address is the key to connect with the FA01 interface. That's why it is a port or you can say interface security. So some basic requirement is which port is disabled by default. So in every switch the port security is available but by default it is disabled. You need to make it enable. It must be a L2 that means layer 2 switch interface. By this we can provide security to server or some specific workstation. I hope you like my video. You will find this topology in the given link. Let us understand this topology. Here you can see the manager and admin. They both are allowed to access this server. So what happened when the manager or admin is not available, some random person here, the attacker is coming into the office and he is trying to connect with the switch and then he is trying to connect the FTP server. So our switch is into the protected area. So what he will do? He will remove the LAN cable of admin and the same LAN cable he is going to attach with the on PC or laptop. Then through the laptop he will be able to access the server. As he is the company person, he has already inline into the VLAN or the other network parameter. So let us see what happened. First, I will try to ping from the manager. So, this is manager and I will go to the manager command prompt. I try to ping and I will check the connectivity with the server. So, I will put the IP address of a server 192.168.1.50. Here, I can see that from the manager computer, I can access the server. The same thing, I can access from the admin computer. Now the first case where no security is assigned. So in this case the for example manager is not available. So what this random person will do? He will go into the office of manager. He will remove the cable from the manager computer and he will try to attach the LAN cable with on device or laptop. So now the attacker can able to ping the server. We will wait till the orange color turns into the green. This orange color that means the system is in process. Now it turns into the green. So now I will try to check that attacker is able to ping the server or not. So I will again ping the server with the IP address of 192.168.1.50. So I can see that with this connectivity attacker can ping the server so he can attack on the server. So now this should not be happen. This is not a secure system. So I need to connect a or I need to create a security on this network. So let us see what I do. First let me reconnect the same scenario. Okay. So I will uh, Place this attacker again into the 
place. I will again connect the fast Ethernet 01 port to the manager. See. Now what I will do? I will connect this port which is CF01 and this is admin which is connected with F02. Server is connected with F03. So these three are the port. F01, F02, F03. So I am going to assign the port security. Port security that means what I will do? I will assign the IP address of this manager computer to this port. That means this MAC address of this manager computer is going to be a key for this port. So now this port will allow only this MAC address. That means this computer. He will not allow another MAC address. That means the other computer. The same thing I will take the MAC address of this admin computer and I will put that MAC address into the security feature of this port address FA02. That means only admin computer which is having this MAC address can operate into the FA02 port. So now if I go to the attacker they are having the different MAC address. Now if we go to the manager cabin and if we connect the cable the MAC address will be different. So he cannot ping to the server. Let me show you how this will happen. So first of all I need to find out the MAC address of computer. So to find out the MAC address I will go to the computer. I will go to the command prompt and I will write the command. The command is IP config backslash all. So by this command you can find the physical address of any device. Here you can check that 000b dot b double e 9 that is a MAC address. So I will copy this MAC address and I have already mentioned this MAC address over here. You can see that 00b b double e 9 1 4 6 7. The same way I will find the MAC address of this admin laptop. The command is IP config back. Okay. So here you can see that the physical address is 7bcb. So I will copy it and I will put it over here. Right. You can see that. So now I will go to the switch where I will assign the port security. So I am going to the switch. Here what I will do, I will first go to the enable, then I will check that is there any port security available. So to check the port security, the command is show port security. See, it is nothing. So that means no port security is assigned. So now we will assign the port security and then we will check using the command show port security and we will check what happened. So now in the port security first I will go to the port so to go to the port uh, we have a command of first config terminal and then interface which interface I want to assign we know that I want to assign fast ethernet 01 to the manager so fast ethernet 01 so that is the command to reach up to the fast ethernet 01 so by this command now I am in the Fast Ethernet 01 port. So now here I will say this port that assign switch port security. So I will just write the switch port security. Right. So switch port security uh, is a dynamic port. So first I will need to make it a static port. So, so I will say switch port mode access. Now I will say switch port port security so they will allow so to make it a mode access command we need to write first command switch port mode access then we will write switch port security so now let us check how many parameters are available so let's write the question mark they will say that you can set the maximum that means maximum secure address you can set the violation what happen if there is any violation and then the MAC address. So here we can see that MAC address is available where we are going to assign a dedicated MAC address to access that port. So first of all I will say maximum. So maximum that means how many maximum MAC address you want to allow. So here I want to allow only one MAC address which is of manager. So I will write one. You can set more than one also. 
so this is maximum one right so now which one mac address so i will write switch port again port security then mac address after mac address i will copy the mac address from here and i will write this mac address over there here i will paste the mac address so now this mac address is fixed for this fa01 port now third one is a violation what happen if someone is trying to violate let us see so if i ask the switch port port security and then violation what can i do there are three security are available one is a protect restrict and the third one is a shutdown protect and restrict we will cover into the next topic right now we will concentrate on shutdown shutdown that means if there is any violation immediately shut down that port that means that port will be off and no one can do the any kind of other communication so what i will write switch port port security violation and then shut down so now the security has been assigned we have assigned maximum one we have assigned particular dedicated mac address and we have assigned the violation as a shutdown so now i will check that what happen if i write this switch port security again so here you can see that now using the switch port port security there are this kind of information that means we have assigned the port security in fa01 maximum address is the one current address already assigned one and violation count see if i assign the restrict or protect here uh, it will count that how many attempt is done right if someone is trying for one time two time second time third time so it will make count over here and what are the action so action is a shutdown so we have set the security now we will check okay so let me close this switch uh, let us ping from the manager computer so manager computer ip address is correct so it will allow the ping now manager is going out of the cabin the attacker is coming into the office so what happened if now attacker is trying to be or connect the manager computer so now fa01 where we have assigned the port security and this is the pass ethernet 01 of attacker laptop now we will again wait to turn orange color into the green this orange must be turned on into the green now i will ping from the attacker laptop and what happened we will check as per our instruction it must be shut down that means it is a new mac address see what is the mac address of attacker it is mentioned over here so which is different than this mac address so switch will not allow this mac address through the fa01 port the same way in the fa02 port we can assign the mac address of this admin computer so that mac address and that port will be a port security for this port same way we can assign a number of security on a different different port so here the orange color is in green so now i will uh, go to the attacker command prompt and i will try to contact with the server so as i try to ping see here that green color turn into the red that means it automatically <coughs> shut down and i am not getting any reply see so this is how you can protect your server from the outsider specific workstation i hope you like my video if you have any question or query please write down in the comment we will meet in the next video thank you bye bye